Hi guys, by now all of you must be familiar with all the figures and numbers you see on this chart. And today I am going to show you how to give an approach chart briefing and also how you are going to fly this approach. Just want you to remember that this is not standard as in every airline will have their own standard operating procedure. What I am going to show you here is what something you can use for any airline exam and uh, it's basic CPL level okay so let's start with the approach briefing this shall be a VOR ILS approach for runway 09 at Mumbai Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport India chart date 14 November 2008 chart index number 11-1 alpha approach configuration will be stabilized approach speed 130 knots threshold speed 110 knots it is frequency 1 to 6 decimal 4 set in primary Mumbai approach radar frequency 1 to 7 decimal 9 set on secondary Mumbai tower frequency 118 decimal 1 set on primary standby Mumbai ground 1 to 1 decimal 7 5 set on secondary standby we are frequency 116 decimal 6 bravo 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 set on nav 1 tuned and identified ILS frequency 109 or decimal 5 set on secondary final approach course 09 or 1 glide slope check altitude at 4 ILS DMA is 1290 feet ILS decision altitude 270 feet derived decision altitude 320 feet set in minimas airport elevation 37 feet runway elevation 15 feet Missed approach procedure is to climb straight ahead. At 1 ILS DME, pass the threshold, turn right to intercept radial 110, climbing to 2600 feet. Then climbing turn right to join holding at 3700 feet or as directed by the ATC. Maximum speed is 185 knots until established on radial 110. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Altimeter setting will be in hectopascal. Runway elevation is 1 hectopascal. Transition level will be given by ATC. Transition altitude is 4000 feet. DMA is required for this approach. MSA around Bravo 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 VOR is 2600 feet to the eastern sector from a course of 160 to 020. And 2600 feet on the eastern sector till 12 nautical miles and thereafter 3700 feet. Caution, do not mistake Mumbai Juhu for Mumbai Chhatrapati Shivaji International Airport. Okay. Now, this is a standard hold. Inbound of the hold is 273. Set your course cursor to the inbound. Outbound of the hold is 0903. Minimum holding altitude is 3700 feet. This is where you decide your entry. Okay. This shall be a parallel entry. Once cleared for the approach, we'll proce proceed on a track of 273 and backtrack on the localizer on 271 and descend to 2600 feet. At 8 decimal 2 ILS DME, we'll commence procedure turn to the left and intercept final approach track 0901. Final approach fix is at 8 decimal 2 DME. Thereafter, we'll commence descent as per the glide slope till DDA. Missed approach point is at 1 ILS DME. In case of glide slope unserviceable, we will descend as per the DME altitude reference table. High intensity approach lighting system is available, Papi to the left. ILS minima with full ALS for category Charlie aircraft is 1200 meters and with ALS unserviceable is 1300 meters in, in case of glide slope out procedure minimum descent altitude is 410 feet and visibility minima with ALS is 2400 meters and in case of ALS unserviceable is 2800 meters crew coordination remains standard any questions so that's basically how you give your approach chart briefing and now I'll tell you how you are going to fly this approach.
So let's assume you have entered your hold. You are at 3700 feet and you are in the inbound of the hold. And the ATC has cleared you for the approach as per the published procedure. So when the ATC says that it means you make your descent and your turns as per the published procedure okay so initially here you will be proceeding on the track of 273 now the distance here between two where you are going to change over to your ILS is very short so make sure you are ready with your ILS preparation in the inbound of the hole itself okay and uh, in case you need to do your descent checks be ready with that also all right set your QNH be ready with your frequencies set your course cursor your beacons check okay all right now we are proceeding outbound you commence your descent to 2600 feet and you stay on a track of 273 okay and change over to ILS frequency once that is done you can tune into the ILS frequency and positively identify the Morse code also and intercept the localizer all right and uh, once you have intercepted the localizer you will be on a track of 271 so make sure you change your course cursor also accordingly to 271 okay so thereafter you when you have one dme just before this eight decimal to ILS dme make sure you are ready with your timer okay and by now you should already be at 2600 feet ideally if not not to very continue your descent at 8 decimal to ILS DME turn on to a heading of 2 to 6 make sure you've set your heading bug and altitude bug accordingly and follow this heading for 1 minute at 1 minute turn right and fly heading of 046 and intercept the final approach track 0901 this will give you a 45 degree intercept okay now by now you should be at 2600 feet this is an ideal time for you to review the missed approach procedure so you can call out review missed approach procedure okay and just read through it once okay now at your final approach fix you will start your descent as per the glide slope one dot above glide slope you will do your approach checks and then commence your descent till your DDA at 4 ILS DME you call out glide slope check altitude 4 ILS DME 129 or 0 feet continue your descent 1000 feet above runway elevation you should be stabilized be ready with your landing checks also here at DDA look outside call out runway visual continue with the landing or runway not visual commencing missed approach procedure okay so that's basically how you fly the approach i hope uh, this clears up most of the things in case there are any doubts feel free to comment below in the boxes all right and if you like the video don't forget to like or subscribe thank you for listening